Aslam alaikum friends my name is Tasin Akbar and you are watching Pakistan Current Affairs today we will talk about why does the JF-17 fighter use a Rode 93 engine and not a more powerful NPO Saturn engine. The main comparison between the Rode 93 and AL-31F will be made in the second point aerodynamics and technical restraints. I will discuss other engines in the answer as well including the Chinese WS-13A, Snekma M88 from the Rafale, the Eurofighter ZJ-2000 and the Russian RD-33MK. There are four key elements influencing the JF-17's design which lead to the Rode 93 being picked as the engine of choice for the JF-17. 1. Doctrine. 2. Aerodynamics and technical restraints. 3. Modularity. 4. International politics and engine availability. Doctrine. The PAF, like the rest of the armed forces, has practiced a primarily defensive doctrine ever since the 1990s and the advent of the nuclear age in South Asia. As the conventional disparity between India and Pakistan grows greater in favor of India, the Pakistani armed forces act more as a holding force designed to hold off Indian pressure until foreign powers intervene to end the conflict and bring about a negotiated settlement of disputes before war escalates to the point where one side, Pakistan basically, uses nuclear weapons. This defensive mentality reflects in the JF-17's design. There are two points which need to be noted in doctrine, 1. PAF fighters must prioritize interception capabilities, rapid interception, strong dogfight capability, overstrike capability, long-range missions, 2. PAF fighters must exhibit high availability, low maintenance time and long amounts of time between engine overhaul, OPAF fighters must prioritize interception capabilities, rapid interception, strong dogfight capability, overstrike capability, long-range missions. The JF-17 is designed primarily as a defensive, light interceptor aircraft with a secondary strike close air support capability. As you might know Road 93 is smoky and inefficient. What it does have is significant thrust though with afterburners. This enables the JF-17 to bring more power to a dogfight and engage enemy aircraft in a shorter response time which is what the JF-17 is designed for, interception. But it seriously reduces the JF-17's performance in long-range strike missions which is acceptable to the PAF since again, it's designed as a lightweight interceptor and air superiority fighter, fighting in conjunction with more high-tech fighters like the F-16. One problem the PAF is trying to address is the JF-17's low loiter time and long-duration cap missions. The JF-17's low loiter time stems from its fuel-inefficient Rode 93 engine which reduces its cap time. This is the primary reason why the PAF is considering switching from the Rode 93 to the more fuel-efficient FADEC RD33MK. Fun fact, Rode 93 is a Rode 33 with gearbox moved to allow it to fit into JF-17 and with maximum wet thrust increased slightly at the expense of slight reduction in mean time between overhaul. OPAF fighters must exhibit high availability, low maintenance time and long amounts of time between engine overhaul. This is the primary reason the WS-13A from China was not used in the PAF version of the JF-17. The WS-13A is known for having maintenance issues. The mean time between overhaul is too low for it meaning you would have engine overhaul facilities like camera filled constantly with JF-17s in need of maintenance. For a small air force like the PAF which is already outnumbered by the Indian Air Force, having a large number of aircraft in maintenance during times of tension, mobilization etc. is a big no-no. The IAF can match us in strength with even 50-60% aircraft availability. The PAF would be in serious trouble with even 70-80% availability. This hasn't completely ruled out the WS-13A. The PAF is waiting for improvements in its design and we'll have to see how it performs on the FC-31. Aerodynamics and Technical Restraints the first thing to note is that the Rode 93 is a smaller class engine compared to the L31 series. 
one L31 F engine is significantly larger than one Road 93 engine and the difficulty of fitting an engine much larger than the Road 93 on the JF-17, a small, light interceptor which was smaller than even the F-16, was prohibitive. Some of the comparable engines to the Road 93 engines are the French Snecma M88 from the Rafale which has less thrust than the Road 93 and the Eurofighter ZJ2000 which again has lower wet thrust than the Road 93. Another engine worth mentioning here is the WS-13A which has a higher wet thrust but was a relatively untested Chinese engine back when the JF-17 was being designed, late 90s and early 2000s. You may have noted that all of these engines are from twin-engine aircraft and the JF-17 uses just one of them. That should tell you a lot about the JF-17's size. In fact let me show you some images to compare the JF-17 size with the Su-27. The Su-27 utilizes the L-31 series engine. JF-17 at the rightmost and Su-27 at the leftmost of the image. The above image is a good size comparison of the JF-17 with the Su-27. It's from the recent Shaheen 5 exercises. Here's another image depicting the size comparison. As you can see, the JF-17 is significantly smaller than the L-31F powered Su-27 but somewhat close in size to the Road 93 powered MiG-29. The MiG-29 is still significantly larger and heavier than the JF-17 though. The JF-17 has one Road 93. Su-27 has two L-31 engines. An L-31 class engine would rip apart JF-17's airframe. Now it should be noted that the Pakistan Air Force is currently mulling over getting a new engine for JF-17 but L-31 is not it. The engines under consideration is the RD-33MK, a FADEC-controlled version of Road 33 which is more efficient. The EJ-2000, an engine with great export potential, has higher dry thrust but lower wet thrust. The Pakistan Air Force designers wanted more maximum thrust, in line with the emphasis on interception and air-to-air -air combat, and were less interested with efficient long-term cruising apparently, since strike capability is secondary. Another design choice being implemented in the JF-17 is the use of more composite materials in its airframes to allow a significant weight reduction in the JF-17. This would give the PAF more bang for its buck, enabling an even lighter fighter and better fuel efficiency. This is especially important when you consider that the JF-17, while it has room to support a variety of engines in the same class as the Road 93, doesn't have the room or the airframe for an engine larger than the Road 93, the AL-31F to give more thrust or give more efficiency in future JF-17 blocks. It's rumored that the JF-17 Block 3 series will be implementing significant amounts of composite materials in its airframe. Yeah.